We're going to use this little simulation um, to have a look at some of the data that gives rise to the um, Ohm's law relationship. So we've got a little um, circuit set up. Uh, here's the cell. There's a resistor over there. We've got a uh, ammeter in series um, and a voltmeter in parallel. And we've set, uh, if we just have a look at the uh, uh, the voltage, you see we've set it to 3 volts um, and you can see that the uh, voltmeter is detecting 3 volts over the resistor and the current is 0.3 amps. So if we go to our uh, Excel spreadsheet, um, obviously uh, at a zero voltage there's no current flowing and so you have a, a zero zero um, point to start with. So with it set at 3 volts, uh, we can plug in there a, uh, um, a value of 0.3 amperes. If we then change the uh, voltage um, up to 6 volts, you'll see there it's reading 6 volts and our current you'll see the little uh, indicators of the charges are moving slightly faster and uh, our ammeter is giving us a reading of uh, um, 0.6 amperes. Now you already see the relationship starting to develop uh, quite nicely. Let's uh, increase that voltage up to 9 volts. Notice the increase in the speed of the charges, obviously the current's flowing more quickly because there's a stronger voltage pushing those charges around, stronger potential difference and our uh, ammeter is now showing a reading of uh, 0 0.9 um, and let's just take two more uh, readings quickly, change it up to 12 volts um, and now the reading is 1.2 amps and you can see our relationship uh, is continuing um, and uh, finally if we uh, change the voltage up to 15 volts uh, we're getting a reading of 1.5 amps on our uh, ammeter and uh, the uh, graphs obviously just being plotted below here and this is a classic graph of an ohmic conductor with a straight line relationship between voltage and current and um, if I um, click on those and uh, add a trend line. Um, we can see that uh, we've got a linear trend line. We'll ask it to uh, put the equation on. And um, let me just drag it out so you can see it a little bit better. You can see there's clearly a straight line relationship uh, going through the origin um, with a uh, uh, an equation of y equals 10x. So the gradient is 10 um, and that gives us an indication obviously from the R is V over I relationship that the res resistance is equal to 10 ohms and if we go back to our resistor here uh, and just show the value of that resistor there you can see it's a 10 ohm resistor.